My name's Pauline Breitling. I grew up here. Mum and Dad bought this block in 1966. It's 12 acres. It was part of the original old Woodlands estate. It was pretty well bush then. We spent the 60s and 70s clearing it and Mum had sheep here and Dad had some cattle and we had ponies and so it was a typical hob hobby block. And then I went off to uni and worked and did things uh, mostly in agriculture. And when Mum and Dad were a bit more frail, um, I came back to help them look after the block and have sort of taken over since then. Mum had always loved birds and uh, I said, well, why don't we see if we could actually revegetate it? So there hadn't been any animals on here for a few years. Things had started to grow back. There was lots of blackberry, lots of petostrum. We'd said, well, let's see if we can clear away the stuff that shouldn't be here and put back, plant in things that were here in the first place. It's been a fantastic exercise doing this. The birds have really appreciated it. I've really enjoyed getting back into a sense of how this area and these ecological vegetation classes can re-establish and offer a habitat. I love seeing the birds on the property and we've also got sugar gliders and brush tails and ring tail possums, etc. Lots of swamp rats this year and in the last five years there are quite a few black wallaby come across the block as well. Seeing animals and birds re-inhabiting the space is fantastic. Well, this was Boon Wurrung country originally, still never ceded, <laughs> but it's, it's important to look after it. And um, yeah, I'm really enjoying doing that. For the block, I've shifted from the standard four seasons into the six seasons more indigenous calendar. I never plant after the end of true winter and then I mulch them and then I water them once a month for their first summer. In doing that, I can plant and look after somewhere between two and 400 plants. The first grant that I got was the one that I used to get the plan together. Mal Legg is an ecological advisor. I got him to come and do the survey for me, which really kick-started the process. Casey hosted a few meetings and I met other people and that was, that was really good. Part of getting a, a bit of a tribe, I suppose, a community of interest. One of the things that I really love is having people come and, and see it and, and enjoy it. Any garden is wonderful with wildlife in it as well. Plants and animals and insects and birds, it makes the whole ecology. Whatever sort of garden it is, having wildlife is just amazing. <laughs>